What up? Okay, so I wanted to talk to you briefly about something that is um, that's happening with young people, okay? Um, when I grew up, the big thing was TV. Obviously, that's your medium. That's what you used. You watched television. Your attention span was about seven, seven and a half minutes. Then you knew you could check out for a couple minutes and you could tune back in because you were used to your TV show, commercial TV show. So your brain got used to that routine. That's how long my attention span was. Thanks, television. Thanks, NBC. Uh, actually, I guess I should say the show Friends from NBC. It's all I ever watch. And so, uh, so I want to talk to you now about the kids, the teenagers we have now. It's a little different. They don't get most of their their uh, their entertainment consumption from television. They get it from the internet. And that's why you see whenever they see a YouTube video that's like 10 minutes long, that is a two-hour video. That's a two-hour video. Two, 10 minutes is now two hours because they want to be entertained in less than three minutes. If it hits the three minute mark, they're like, Bleh, done. And then what happens when they click on a video to watch it? <clears throat> here's an ad for, here's a new toilet washing thing. And it says, there's waiting for that five second thing and they're gonna click it as fast as they can. That's because the young people today, they don't have to watch your ads. They don't have to click to the side of the page where you got your ads listed. It's like, here's my blog roll of all these companies that I'm telling people that I'm helping because I'm putting it on their website. They don't care. They are so used to skimming over, they see nothing. They do not see that. They don't care. You get one out of maybe a hundred that they'll even glance at and read because um, they, they're they looking for their content. And so now if you watch a YouTube video, that five seconds, that's your time. If you can't sum up and engage that kid in those five seconds, boom, you wasted money. You wasted precious Google AdSense dollars to get onto that video. You have to be more creative. You have to be more engaging. You have to do it quick. You cannot sum it up in a five minute video like I am where it's just a monologue. They probably checked out. People have checked out of this. Kids have the most attuned bullcrap factor. And I think I was uh, Casey Neistat who said it, that I heard that first, that phrase, that bullcrap factor. He said it differently, but that's what it is. These kids don't put up with bullcrap. They can tell when a video is made to sell a product and they don't want it unless it hits and then they're not gonna remember the rest. You have to make them care. They like authenticity and they like creativity. It's either authentic or it's something they don't see, okay? It's something they can't see in everyday life. It's, you know, they love the bloopers. They love the highlights. They love those bad lip readings. They love, um, you know, long trick shots. They like that stuff because it's something they don't see every day. It's creative. Um, they don't want to watch a, a 20 minute documentary on like cat hats, like a lady who knits cat hats. They want something authentic. They want it to have passion in it. These kids don't have time for the bull crap. And that's, that's kind of what they are. So be authentic, be creative and engage this younger audience. Um, or have them check out by making a, looks like a three and a half minute video like I'm doing right now. Um, it's not a good example for this video, but I just want to talk to you about the, the two things that kids today are going. Now I want to drink some Starbucks. Peace! Hello. Thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please subscribe. Maybe.